Guess who just got murdered? He's leaving. Our plan worked. We saved our own honeymoon and fun bonus. We cheered up Holt. Yes. OK, it's time to celebrate. You know what that means. This B needs a C in her A. Oh, my god. This babe needs a coconut in her arms. Oh, I thought you were saying this needs a in her Oh, my god. Yeah, that was my reaction. All right, I'll go get us a couple of coconuts. God, I miss this place. Let me just soak it in. Oh, yeah, stale coffee, fingerprinting ink, whatever Charles is fermenting in his desk. Beans? Beans? It's like I never left. All right, fill me in. Tell me everything I missed. Won't take long. Only three things happened. Terry chipped his tooth and had a lisp for a week. Listen up, Thieving. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I say something amusing to you? Answer me, you son of a bitch! Number two, Santiago and Boyle wore the same outfit to work one day. How does it look better on you? And Captain banned headphones from the office due to the Gina incident. So again, your alibi is a mysterious stranger handed you the gun, made you put your prints on it, robbed the store, and then hid the gun in your underpants. Well, yeah, if you say it like that, it don't sound believable. Oh, hey, Captain. Did you get my report on the Finley murder? Oh, uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. Why is everyone staring at me? You just called Captain Holt Dad. You said, thanks, Dad. What? No, I didn't. I said, thanks, man. Do you see me as a father figure, Peralta? No. If anything, I see you as a bother figure, because you're always bothering me. Hey, show your father some respect. I didn't call him Dad. No, 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 no. Jacob. I take it as a compliment. It's not a big deal. I called Vivian mom once, and she's my fiance. Guys, jump on that. Boyle has psychosexual issues. Old news. But you calling Holt Daddy. Hey, Daddy is not on the table here. But you did call him dad, dude. You shut up. You've done nothing but lie since you got here. All right, all right. I was lying about the holdup. But the dad thing, that happened. Aha! He admitted that his alibi was a lie. It was a trap. All part of my crazy, devious plan. I believe you. Thank you. Son, you want to talk about it later over a game of catch? I'd like that. So, do you recognize any of these men? I was hiding in the bathroom stall, so I didn't see his face, but I heard him. He was singing along to the music at the bar. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was that song, I Want It That Way. Backstreet Boys, I'm familiar. OK. Number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? OK. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one. Desire. Number three. Believe when I say. Number four. I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five. I never want to hear you say. Woo! I, I want it. Chills, literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my God, I forgot about that part. Look, I know that dog meant a lot to you, so I got you this. It's a dog. His name's Arlo, but you can call him Jason too, or whatever. Seriously? I can't just replace Jason with some other dog. Why not? All dogs are basically the same. Watch this. Arlo, go hump that toy. Get away from that. That's Jason's. Look, man. I've been patient, but we have a case we need to work on. It's time for you to get over it and move on. Move on? Move on. Jason was part of my family, Rosa. I loved him. His humping was the only thing that got me through my divorce. Seeing him so happy made me believe that I could be happy one day, too. You wouldn't understand this because you have a motorcycle helmet for a heart, but I need to feel this sadness. So the only thing that I'm moving on from is you. So I, like, have a dog now? I've only had Arlo for a day and a half. But if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. Very violent eulogy. I like it. For you, and you, and you. What are these? These, madam, are STDs. What are you talking about, buddy? STDs. Save the dates for Vivian and my wedding. Ah, yes. Hey, just out of curiosity, how many people have you given STDs to? Lots. Like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? 
Uh, oh, okay, I get it. STD has another meaning. That. You're gross. No one else is gonna think that. Everyone is going to think that, but it's sweet that your mind didn't go there. Thank you. It is kind of sweet. Will your first dance be to You Give Me Fever? Will you be serving crabs at the reception? Do you have herpes? Guys, this is my wedding. This is important to me. No more jokes. You're right, and we're sorry. Yes. We love you, buddy. Warts and all. Sorry, I made a rash decision. I was itching to say it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I have an STD. So just RSVP or? Yeah, the number's right on there. Great. Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. Oh, Captain. I know you don't want to talk about Monty Hall, but I did contact a math professor. No need, Santiago. It's all good. So the fight with Kevin is over? Yep. Because you understand the math now? Nope. Because you guys... Yep. You lost all control and you bludgeoned him to death. There must have been blood everywhere, but you got lucky. You were in the surgical suite. It can be sterilized. You never would have gotten away with it in your carpeted office. That's not what happened. Don't say anything more, Philip. And your office manager would have heard all of the screaming, but she was at her grandson's play. Lucky again. You're wrong. You put Robert's body into a wheelchair and shoved it in the elevator. It's a miracle there wasn't blood everywhere. That's not true. Now you're in the garage with a corpse. You panicked and left your phone in your office, and you don't have your car keys, but Robert's are in his pocket, so you put him in his car and you take off. No. You can't believe what you've done. No. Philip. You're flustered, you have no GPS, so you just start driving. No. Philip. Next thing you know, you're in the Pine Barrens and it hits you, your uncle's cabin. He has a place there. You're the luckiest son of it a bitch. It wasn't bitch. luck. Yes, it was. You got lucky at every turn. No. I knew exactly where I was driving. I left my phone in the office on purpose. I was in a surgical suite by design and I didn't use some glass of that any idiot would clearly see was missing. I made a rod out of a special dental polymer, killed him with it, then melted it back down. It's already in a patient's mouth, son. Gentlemen, I present Carl Lodson, who stole $3,000. Santiago takes the lead with one minute left. Suck it, Peralta. Oh, no. That's right. Oh, no. Oh, no. You don't seem worried. Why aren't you worried? Bring in the Johns. I ran a prostitution sting through Vice and arrested 30 guys for soliciting. That's not a felony. It is when it's your second offense, which is the case for 10 of these gentlemen. Fun fact, four of them are actually named John. Ironic. Anywho, ten more for Peralta, except your fate. Never. Five, four, three, two, oh. one. Jake wins. Amy loses. Look! <laughs> Amy Santiago, you have made me the happiest man on earth. I spent one whole dollar on this ring. Will you go on the worst date ever with me? You have to say yes. Yes. She said yes! Good boy, Cheddar. Bring me that karma bun. Wait a minute. This isn't the championship karma bun. This is some common karma bun. You're not Cheddar. This is some common bitch. Terry said he has some news from the office of Commissioner Wunsch. Ugh, what does that human blister want now? Does she intend to demote me even further? Or perhaps she'll transfer me to the swamps of New Jersey so I can patrol the sinkhole where she was spawned. Or it's possible the announcement has nothing to do with you. Oh, good thing you brought her. You're right. Maybe Madeline wants to inform us all that she's a chooksin. A what? A chooksin. A Korean toilet ghost. Lives in an outhouse, wraps her hair around your throat, and chokes you to death while you move your bowels? You know what? I will give you $6,000 if the announcement is she's a chooksin. OK, everyone. I have some news. The Madeline Wunsch is a Korean toilet ghost? Boring. We already knew that. Madeline Wunsch is dead. Say what now? My emotions are in overdrive. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. Wunch is dead! Bagel! 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 Sir, I am loving this color on you, but don't you think you should tone it down? Why, in case I run into a family? I'm not planning any trips to the Bronx Zoo.